everyone, welcome back to my new video. Super excited to make this video because I'm going to show you one of my closets. I have been cleaning and organizing. I currently just moved to this closet and this closet is the master closet. So this is the biggest closet in this house. I spent a few evenings to organize everything and go through everything. Finally done with this closet. As I said before, this is one of my closet. So what's in this closet? Costumes, prom dresses, wedding dresses, everything that's ready to cosplay in this room, and homemade dresses, and some craft stuff. So this closet is like a storage room. Put the stuff that I don't usually use, but I need to keep those clothes because just in case I need to do some photo shoot or to go to anime conventions in the future. So I'm keeping those stuff. I also put my purses in this closet because this room has a lot of shelf and it also has um, some empty places. This closet is not full. So let's start with my purses. So on the first shelf are the pink purses because I use pink purses often. So this is the closest. This is the most convenient spot. And on the second shelf are the white purses. And on the top. So this is the top shelf and those are black purses and right here are the colorful purses and the backpack this backpack is japanese backpack so for that japanese backpack it's not useful to me but it might be useful in the future right it would be great for a photo shoot and for like pictures right <laughs> i could do a video about my bag collection and show you guys the details of all the bags this video i'll just show you guys an overall of those purses so those are the pink ones and all the white ones and some pink ones in the back and here are all the black ones and the colorful bags and where are is right here right here <laughs> and next i'm going to show you the clothes on this section some of those clothes is like costume like outfits yes Okay, let's start. Ta -da! This one is obviously costume. The last time I wore this was in one of my videos from two years ago. Yeah, I haven't worn this for a while. Yeah, it's obvious costume. And those three clothes are a bit looks like costumes, right? But it could be outfits. Yes, cute outfits. So this is like Japanese uh, schoolgirl cosplay, right? And if you like the style, you could wear this as a fashion style right do you guys remember this costume so this is my maid costume at TigerCon. this is my maid costume that i wore at TigerCon. it comes with a little apron pretty cute dress because of the fabric it looking like a costume fabric is a costume fabric but you can still wear it this is a novita dress because it's made of cheap fabric it makes the dress looks like a costume right the fabric is not shining but it still looks like costume the fabric is thin compared to my other nolita dresses this is a cheap nolita dress it's a very cute design dress if you use better fabric then this could be a very beautiful outfit and not costume looking same like this one so the material of the dress part is not bad but the top part is very shining right so it makes this outfit looks like a costume but it's cute design i really like it same to this dress and this is also a lolita dress even though the fabric is not shining but it, this is made of cheap cotton and the fabric is very thin so that's why i make this outfit looks like a costume it's pretty cute design but somehow it just uh, costume looking right because the fabric yeah i still want to wear it <laughs> and this one is exactly the same like the other one but in different colors this one is obviously costume so it's from Alice wonderland i keep this just because maybe i would do a photo shoot you probably recognize where this costume from it's from love life this is obviously costume you could wear this go shopping this costume is not very dramatic it's not i mean it's not fancy some people like to wear costumes sometimes 
outside. It's not just the at anime convention. And I'm the kind of people, and also I know there are a lot of people went to my cosplay panel. A lot of them also like to wear costumes in public. And this one is hard to tell if it is a costume or outfit. It can be an outfit, right? But the top part is made of cheap material. That's why it makes this outfit look like. Uh, maybe a little bit of like costume. I really like this outfit. I still want to wear this sometimes in my video. I like most of the sailor style dresses. This is actually a normal jacket. Remind me of Song of Anime. They have similar jacket, right? That's why I put this jacket in this closet. It could be a costume. You've probably seen a lot of anime characters wearing this jacket right and this is also looks like a Japanese uniform I don't really wear this style but I keep this just in case I need to do some photo shoot or sometimes I like to wear different styles <laughs> and this is obviously costume you can also see a few anime characters wear this style of costume and I also have a color black so this one is exactly the same one like the blue one but just in different colors it's obviously um, costume and ta -da! this jacket is famous <laughs> a lot of you probably already recognize this anime right this could be an outfit if you just wear like a jeans the quality is actually pretty good not looking like a costume it's pretty thick and uh, comfortable material so it doesn't look like costume material this is not really my style but just to keep this in case here's another thinner dress this is a bit costume looking dress because the color fabric and the ribbon looks cheap and that's why it makes this outfit look like mm, costume looking so this one is a kimono i don't wear this now but i really like the the pattern it looks very pretty the color is very bright i think it might good for photo shoot and i have another two i keep those just because i might use those for future um, for photo shoot so just uh, keep those. I really like the pattern. It's very beautiful. So the design of this outfit, it looks like a wild Lolita dress. It has the skirt part. So the fabric is like costume satin. Even though it feels soft, but it still looks like costume. This one is actually the same pattern like this outfit. But this one has a better quality than this one. Could be a great outfit for photo shoot. <laughs> very cute, right? I really like it. And if I have time, I really do want to do a photo shoot. <laughs> this one is obviously a Halloween costume, the zombie bride costume. I was wearing this last year. It's a costume, so just uh, keep it. And here comes more costumes. <laughs> Even so, it's a costume. I think it could be an outfit if you just wear jeans and with this jacket. You could wear it sometimes, right? Just with normal jeans. Here's the panties to go with this jacket. This is not really my style, and I don't think I will wear it. Just to keep this in case for a photo shoot. And right here are the ties. And those ones are from Harry Potter. Uh, those are just some accessories to go with my shirt it could be a part of costume and it could be accessories and those ones are just the belt and i don't really use those here are some accessories to go with a white shirt those are not costume and it's just some random stuff the hamster and the banana <laughs> okay so we're down here there are some more costumes up there in a bag because they have a lot of accessories involved so i didn't hang them up they just in separate bags let me show you so one completely costume in each bag i don't cosplay as much as before again i keep those for photo shoot and in this bag just uh, like random costumes and some accessories i mean costume accessories okay so we finished this part let's move to that part i'll show you the clothes in the center later <laughs> So in this section are the prom dresses, wedding dresses, and some long, very long costumes. Okay, the first thing is the prom dress. It is really cute. I remember once I wore this to 
my college. I could wear this when I go shopping, right? I got this several years ago, a long time ago. This is the prom dress that my dad bought me. This one was a very expensive. It was over $200 or 250 I don't quite remember, but it was over $200. Yeah, I think it is very expensive. It's almost the same price as the one of my wedding dress. This one is a cheap looking prom dress. I don't really wear this, just to keep this in case. And here's another one. It kind of looks like a bridesmaid dress, right? I made the belt and the bow in the back. I modified this dress and those three are wedding dresses. This one is my mom's wedding dress. I still keep this. And this is the wedding dress I plan to give it away in the future. Why? Wow, this one's very heavy. And this is the wedding dress I wore on my wedding day. Very heavy. Wow. wow. <laughs> I already ordered the wedding dress cover to cover up those wedding dresses. And this is the anime cosplay costume from Love Life. This is very pretty, but it doesn't fit me. On the shoulder part, too small. Very fancy cosplay costume. It could be a ballroom dancing dress, but it's costume-like. So this one is a Chinese like martial arts costume. Not really good quality costumes, but it's good enough for photo shoot. I always want to do like a martial arts photo shoot. <laughs> So I keep this. This is also a Chinese costume. I don't think I will ever wear it because this one is not in a good quality and style. So I plan to modify it. I can still use the fabric, right? So keep this. And there's a more Chinese costume. I keep this just to keep the fabric. I might use it. This one is not in a good quality. I actually want to find something to replace it. There are a lot of better design Chinese costume. This one, oh, that's very heavy. This one is a kimono costume from an anime. This one is not a real kimono. It's just an anime costume. Look, I really like the pattern. Whoa, it's too heavy. I need to change another. Yeah, oh, <laughs> this one is a pajamas and it is a unicorn. This one is a giraffe. Those are my winter pajamas and super warm. <laughs> super warm and super cute. Here's another one. I don't quite remember the name of this animation. I don't remember it. Uh, also has a zipper on the bottom. It's easy to go to bathroom. This one is actually broke, but I can fix it. And next, I will show you guys the shoes. So the shoes in this room are the ones I don't usually wear outside just for a lookbook video or for like photo shoot because some of those shoes has very high heels. Those are not comfortable to wear and are not for daily wear. Like those sparkling heels. Uh, look at this one. It's very high. I can't really wear it. And uh, those are cargo shoes. And this is a costume. There are more shoes. And those are my black boots. I just don't wear those very much, except like special occasions or for videos, like lookbook videos. Otherwise, I don't really wear those shoes. So that's why I put those shoes in this closet because I don't really wear those. So I have two bags of wigs. Most of those wigs are cosplay wigs. So I only use them when I go to conventions or for photo shoot or for videos. Okay, let's move to here. So those are the cheap plastic drawers. Of those are the craft and the sewing materials that I don't use right now. And here are the earrings. This one is from a Wa Lolita dress. And right here, just the sound decorations. This one is a lucky cat. Take a guess, what is this? This is from Card Capture. <laughs> <laughs> it's a decoration. And let's move on the, the center area of this closet. So this is the center of the closet. 
So those are the DIY clothes. I made most of those from scratch, and I transformed some of those dresses. So those are the DIY clothes. So in this video, I'm not going to show those clothes one by one because I'm planning to make a separate video. The separate video is my sewing story and I'm going to tell about how I get started sewing and what mistake I made and the stories behind of those clothes and also what I learned from making these clothes or transform these clothes and also why I stopped doing it. So the story will be in the video of my sewing story because this video is already pretty long so I'm going to separate the video and this is just the one of my closet that's for costumes, prom dresses and the clothes that I made and some craft material and you can tell that this closet is not full I can still put a lot of stuff let me show you all the space here and the space on the top and also the first layer of rack is empty so I have pretty much space in this room and I can put more boxes here so this closet is not full a lot of stuff that's in this closet a lot of the clothes I would use like daily again I keep this costume just because I might have photo shoot in the future so I keep like the clothes I keep the clothes here keep some dresses here and those wigs thank you so much for watching today's video I'll see you next video soon bye bye